What is up guys, welcome to another video and today we are here with some more Need for Speed content and this is the road to Need for Speed 2015. So obviously we're playing games, previous Need for Speed games that have come out and today we're playing Most One 2012 because you guys wanted it to. Now let's get this straight. I hate this game. Um, I think hate is an understatement. So as you can probably tell, I've literally, well you'll be able to tell as we go throughout this video, is I've barely done anything on the PS3 version of this game. The reason why is because I originally had it on the PS Vita on launch, um, and I played it on there and then I hated it so I sold it and never played it ever again. And then I needed to buy it back for the documentary, obviously I got all the gameplay in the documentary myself. So I needed to buy it back. I don't have my PS Vita anymore, so I had to buy this piece of shit back. So, I, for God's sake, I've already crashed and I wasn't even racing. So, um, yeah, I've got nothing against Criterion Drifting, I've got nothing against all that kind of stuff. Hop Shoot 2010 was one of my favourite Need for Speed games of recent memory, but this game, it just pisses me off. So you guys have got to keep in mind, everything I say in this video is my own personal opinion. Uh, t don't take it too, too seriously, it is my own opinion. I felt like it wasn't too ex too extreme enough to be burnout, but at the same time, it wasn't like, you know, it wasn't Need for Speed. Like, that's not Need for Speed, come on, man. Ah! So, obviously, this game came out in 2012 and um, tried to reboot most... I don't even care about you. Die. Die. I, I tapped him. So, yeah, the game came out in 2012. Was try it, it, it attempted to be a reboot of Most Wanted, and it really didn't work. Although the review scores were very, very good, um, yeah, it, it, it wasn't very liked by many other people. I mean, it kind of, it, it was a big split, it tore a split between the community, and I think that's the best way to kind of describe it. You either loved this game, or hate the game. I hate this game, it's fucking shit. So, I guess we'll go straight into, an, to, into a race, um, I've done one race out of all of these. Let's go ahead and do a medium circuit race, let's go ahead and start this. I don't care about your shitty cutscene, please skip. You're going to show me a cutscene anyway. Okay, so, um, one of the things I really disliked about this game, for starters, was the DLC. There was a shit ton of DLC. Like, ridiculous amounts of DLC. Um, so much that I, 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 I'm glad I had the PSV, PS Vita version for the longest time, because that didn't have any DLC. Because it wasn't supported and it was a shit thing, really. I mean, I really wanted the PS Vita to do well, but it just didn't do well. Anyway, that's besides the point. What, what were we even talking about? How shit this game was? I can't even remember. So obviously, uh, because it was made by Criterion Games, it has a lots of Criterion elements. Drifting is one of them, for God's sake, please don't kill me. Yep, Drifting is one of them. It's got the free drive events that came out, came back from Burnout, billboards, uh, all that, all the jumps and stuff. It, it is, you can very much tell it's a Criterion game. I should never have to take down someone in a Need for Speed game, it's just no. Unless it's hop shoot, then it works. I don't find this fun. <laughs> Why am I even recording a video on this? I should have gone to Hobbs Shoot 2010. <laughs> One distinct memory I have with this game is when it was announced at E3 and I got really excited because I thought it was going to be like most one 2005. I thought it was going to have a story. I thought it was just going to be an amazing game. Obviously, we played it and even up until then, it was kind of... It had signs that it wasn't going to be like that, but I kept on telling myself it was going to be like that and maybe that's the reason why... I'm not a big fan of the game, it's because I kind of lied to myself, just to kind of force myself to like this game. But, um, it's really nothing like most 1-2005. Um, Criterion said that it was their quote-unquote reimagining, but I don't even get how this is a reimagining. No blacklist, no story at all, no progression, no customization in the sense of, like, visual customization. I don't really understand what they meant. If anything, this is more reimagining to Burnout Paradise. It, uh, like, that is literally it. Like, I don't understand th this game. I don't understand what it's trying to do. Are you trying to be a Burnout game or are you trying to be a Need for Speed game? Make up your fucking mind. We're like six minutes into the raw recording of this video and I'm already swearing. Another distinct memory I have with this game is when I was doing the documentary. Uh, if you don't already know, I did make a, a documentary on the history of Need for Speed. A lot of the people who have newly subscribed may not know that. Um, but that took me a long fucking time. And uh, <laughs> when I was editing the clips, I had to be so careful not to be biased about this game and say it was fucking shit, because that's what it is. Okay, so what we're going to go ahead and do is change cards, just so I can show you some of the kind of features in this game if you didn't already know like I know a lot of people who probably watch this video haven't actually played this game so you can basically 
find a car and use it. That's basically the, pr the premise of this game, is if you see a car and it's got a logo above it, you can use it. So we're going to Porsche, you've got the 911, Shelby GT, you know, Cobra, um, you've got all types of cars here. We're going to an M3, uh, E92. So there we go, we're just going into, the, it's called a jack spot, I believe. Uh, and then you can just go into a jack spot, wait for it to load in. Obviously it's a PS3 game, so loading times and graphics aren't going to be amazing, amazingly good. There you go, I'm in, I'm in an E92. And that's how this game had no progression. That's what I mean by it had no progression. It was, you could literally do whatever you want, get into any car you want. You didn't have to earn it, at least like in Need for Speed 2015, you kind of have to like earn the cars in every other Need for Speed game. You have to earn the cars. Um, I guess, oh, we just found another car there. Yay, I'm, I feel so rewarded that I found another car. Let's go ahead and change to that car instead. Oh, look, it's a, it's a Mustang of some sorts. Set destination. So, um, when you actually do an event for the first time, you need to actually drive there. Okay, that, I'm not gonna lie. That's something I like. That's something I miss from like Underground Two is when you actually had to drive to events and stuff, and um, because it, you kind of learn the map that way. And um, I guess that is something I kind of miss. Um, but that's really the only thing that this game does right. I hate this game. I'm not sure if you guys can legit tell, but this is genuinely me being annoyed. Like, I don't ever scream. When, like, I don't swear when I don't mean to swear. Whatever I do, it's like, I don't fake reactions. I'm legit this annoyed at this game. I really don't like this game. I've, there's, there was a reason why I never bought this back. It's because I don't like it. But I did say, in all fairness, I did say the majority vote. And this was the majority vote, sadly. So, okay, just go, just go, just go, just go, just go, just go. Do, do, do it, do it, just do it, okay. So now into another race, and another generic burnout race. Let's just take you out, and we'll take you out too. I'm not gonna lie, some of the soundtrack was quite good. Uh, I'm gonna use the copyrighted songs for this because YOLO. But um, the song you can hear in the background now, I don't know what it's called, but this is a good song. I, I, I do like this song. Uh, I think one thing in Need for Speed games get really good generally is the soundtrack. They always seem to get the soundtrack right, so uh, I guess congratulations to Criterion Games. You got one thing right with this game. Well, two things. I guess you got the uh, the navigation thing right earlier on, but that's about it. That's really about it. All right. So as we're coming to the end of this race, I want you guys to comment. Oh my fucking lord! I'm gonna cry. I'm actually gonna cry. Uh, I want you guys to comment on what game I should play next. So you have to pick one game. For fuck's sake, leave me alone. So you have to pick one game from 2009 to 2007. Um, any Need for Speed game within that time period, I will play in the next episode of Road to Need for Speed 2015. Um, so you guys are more than welcome to pick. Go ahead. Uh, obviously, I imagine... It's, did Carbon come out in 2000 and, I think that came out in 2006. I think Undercover will be a popular one. I also think Pro Street could be a popular one too. That's a very big jump. Well done. But anyway, make sure to go ahead and leave your comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like, subscribe. There's the finishing line in the distance and there's policemen's. But anyway, I will see you guys in the next one. Stay safe and peace.